Hello folks, welcome back to the YouTube channel Data Science Galaxy. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you live writing exactly five lines of code to convert text in English language into speech. So basically what I'm going to do is simply this, capture some user input in the form of English text and have the computer speak out loudly for us. We do exactly text to speech conversion using five lines of code. If you're excited, Stay tuned and continue to watch till the end. Your learning is guaranteed. Let's get in. As you can see here, I'm going to make use of Jupyter Lab as the integrated development environment of choice. You could use any other integrated development environment as you can see here. You could use Jupyter Notebook, you could use PyCharm, you could use Visual Code, you could use any other interface of choice or the idea of choice, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to use write the code rather in Python. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and first rename this file and let's call it as simply put text to speech, text to speech conversion if you like. So this is how the Jupyter Lab interface would be and this is where I'm going to key in the code. So first up you would need a library called PYTTSX3. So I'm going to import that library. I'm going to talk in a bit what is that PYTTSX3. This is the library that is helping us to convert text to speech. So please execute this line of code. In the event this line of code breaks, let's say, then you have to pip install this library. That's pretty much, that is probably an additional line that you would need. So once you import, this is the library which has all the functionality to help us to convert text to speech then subsequently I'm going to initialize a class of this library meaning everything is implemented as a class in Python so I'm going to instantiate a class called PYTTSX3 how do you do that you will have to call the constructor which internally calls init method of that class so all you have to do is just copy this copy this and call the init function call the init function on this which shall instantiate an object of this class basically PYTTSX3 is an engine which is helping us to convert text to speech and when you execute this line of code it initializes PYTTSX3 functionality and assigns it to an object so let's call that as let's say for ease of use text underscore to underscore speech is the object name you can give any meaningful name for the variable so you can go ahead and run this code so whatever is implemented in this class PYTTSX3 this object is initialized with those values of the class parameters and the class members so now we have an instance an object of this library which is helping us to convert text to speech next as you can rightly guess we need to capture the user input so this is where it is important to focus so I'm going to create functionality to capture user input, which is in the form of English text. So how do you do that? I'll simply call a function called input. Okay. And you can specify something within the brackets, which prompts the user to enter that input. So I'm going to say, please enter the text. That's pretty much. Notice we are ready to capture this. Let's call the object itself as capture text to capture the user text. This is pretty much. So once you do this, it will prompt the user to enter some text and stores it in the variable called capture underscore text. Pretty much the job is done. Then after this, we are going to convert this into the English spoken words by the computer. So how do we do that? So I'm going to take this text to speech, the object of the class, and then there is a functionality called a say okay within the brackets you pass the text captured by the user so what it is going to do it is going to tell the engine to take the text stored in this object called capture capture underscore text to prepare it for speech meaning computer will speak it out loud for us okay so how do I do this conversion is by writing a 
functionality called run and wait. In fact, you don't need to explicitly write that functionality. That functionality is baked into the library already. So you need to make a function call to that function. So what do you do? You take this text to speech and that functionality is called run and wait. That's pretty much. So what it does, let's understand what is this run and wait does. It simply is a command which enables the engine to actually speak out the text stored in that object okay, and waits for the speaking process to finish before moving on. That's pretty much. Hopefully everything is correct. So maybe here there is a bit of a spelling mistake. I'll correct that. So I'll run this line of code. So if I have not run this line of code, I shall run this and I shall run this line of code. You can see, please enter the text. So in this, I'm going to simply say, please subscribe to YouTube channel Data Science Galaxy. Happy learning. Thanks for watching and i'll say enter wait to hear the computer speaking out loud the text converted into speech here we go i'm going to press enter please subscribe to youtube channel data science galaxy happy learning thanks for watching hope you heard so if i run this again if i run this again you'll be able to understand this better hello there hello there can you hear the computer speaking out loud? It is as simple as it gets. See here, the number of lines of code is one, two, three, four, five exactly. In the event, if you run this first line of code, the input command in the first cell, if it breaks, then make sure you do pip install. That's pretty much how easy it is to convert text into speech. If you liked what you saw, give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share. I'll see you in my next video. Happy learning. This is Manjana signing off for Data Sense Galaxy. Bye-bye and take care.